Good morning, everyone. And uh, it's July 28, 2022. Um, and I have a devotion from an, a, an old Jesus Always book that I had um, that I want to read. And I'm going to read it like God's read, that you're reading it. This is a message from God. I'm just going to not, I'm not going to adjust it. I'm going to leave it as if God is, is talking to you. And I'm going to be his messenger and read it for him. So, let my love seep into the inner recesses of your being. Do not close off any part of yourself from me. I know you inside and out, so do not try to present a cleaned up self to me. Wounds that you shut away from the light of my love will fester and become wormy. Secret sins that you hide from me can split off and develop lives of their own controlling you without you realizing it. Open yourself fully to my transforming presence. Let my brilliant love light search out and destroy hidden fears. This process requires time alone with me. As my love soaks into your innermost being, enjoy my perfect love which expels every trace of fear. That is beautiful and true. It's a testament of his love. Now let's read the scriptures to go with it. And they're pretty big ones. Oh Lord, you have searched me and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You, per you perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Before a word is on my tongue, you know it completely, O Lord. Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my anxious thoughts. See if there is any offense way in me and lead me in the way everlasting. Psalm 139, verses 1 through 4 and 23 through 24. There is no fear in love, dread does not exist, but full-grown, complete, perfect love turns fear out of doors and expels every trace of terror, for fear brings with it the thought of punishment. And so he will see who, and so he who is afraid has not reached the full maturity of love, has not yet grown into love's complete Perfection. First John 4, verse 18. Stay tuned. I've got more coming up. Love to all bunches and bunches.